Understanding Facsimile Edition, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, facsimile edition. This term might sound complex, but by the end of this video, you'll understand it perfectly and be able to use it confidently in your conversations and reading. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, facsimile and addition. Facsimile comes from Latin, meaning, make similar. In English, it refers to an exact copy or reproduction of something, especially written or printed material. Addition refers to a particular form or version of a published text. So, a facsimile edition is a copy of a book, document, or artwork that is as close to the original as possible. It's not just any copy, it's a special reproduction that tries to replicate the original in detail. Why are facsimile editions important? They serve several purposes. 1. Preservation. Facsimile editions allow us to preserve original documents or books that may be too fragile to handle. 2. Access. They make rare or unique works available to a wider audience. 3. Research. Facsimiles are invaluable for researchers who need access to originals that are otherwise inaccessible. Understanding this term helps you appreciate the efforts to preserve and share historical and significant works in their original form. To give you a better idea, let's look at some examples. Historical manuscripts, copies of ancient texts, like the Dead Sea Scrolls, are often made as facsimile editions. Art books. Artist sketchbooks are sometimes reproduced as facsimile editions for art lovers and students. Classic literature. Facsimile editions of first editions of classic novels are popular among book collectors and literary enthusiasts. These examples show how diverse the use of facsimile editions can be. And that's it for our exploration of the term, facsimile edition. I hope this video has illuminated this interesting concept for you. Remember, language learning is not just about words, but also about the ideas and history they carry. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.